Hey guys, welcome to Shop Foreman Garage. Today we're working with World Car Auto Group and today we will be installing Android Auto Apple CarPlay on this 2016 Mazda CX-5. The vehicle does not come with Android Auto Apple CarPlay but Mazda does make a package in which uh, we can install Android Auto Apple CarPlay which involves a software upgrade to the Connect Master unit, Connect System, and it also involves uh, getting some wires and stuff and uh, connecting to the Connect Master unit to a hub assembly, and we'll be, we will be installing a new hub assembly. And uh, the process is fairly easy, and so uh, let's get started on that. So before we can actually install this Android Auto Apple CarPlay, we need to do a software update. If, if it needs a software update, so we'll check the vehicle and see if it actually needs a software update. Um, I got these three flash drives here that I put on this lanyard like years ago. Um, so the update status as of this day um, is, um, I think, I believe the update is to uh, 74.00.324. And the reason why I got three here is this one has the latest programming in it for the Connect Master Unit or the Mazda Connect system, uh, 74.00.324. These other two, these are really old. And uh, this one uh, starts with 31, that's super old. This one starts with 33. And the reason why I have them on here is because way back in the day, you could not update unless you were updated to 31 first. So if you needed to get to 33, you had to do 31 before 33. And if you needed anything higher than 33 and you were below 31, you had to do 31, then 33, then the new one. So I haven't actually seen these older ones in a very long time. Um, I've even thought about just taking these off of here, but I guarantee you the second I take them off of there and get rid of them, they're gonna need it. An old car will come in and I'll need it. And um, it's hard to find these older programs through Mazda. I could probably find them, but uh, why? I, I have them right here. So we're going to check the customer's vehicle and find out what uh, update the Connect software is uh, right now. And then we're going to do this update first. We need to do this first before we start pulling out the hardware in it. Um, also, if uh, guys, if you have a Mazda with a Connect system, uh, you might check and see what your Connect system uh, software is at. Um, this one is uh, uh, 74.00.324. Um, and if it's late or earlier version than that, you might think about getting it uh, updated. Uh, well, if you're having any issues, it, the, sometimes it helps like uh, with Bluetooth pairing and uh, different types of issues you may have with your Connect system. Um, they always uh, come out with these updates. This update is a little bit old. This is for the uh, Gen 6. Um, and that's the, that's the same one that has the ghost touch issue. Um, so, uh, this one has been out for quite a while and it is the latest and greatest. So if the customer needs it in their vehicle, we'll, we'll see, we'll check it and we'll see what it's at. And if it is, if it in, they need it, then uh, we'll get it in there and I'll show you how uh, we can do that. Okay. So let's look at the customer's vehicle and let's see what their connect, uh, software, uh, is up to. And uh, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to go over here to the settings. I'm gonna go all the way to the end screen where it says system. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the dial right here. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll all the way down, and I'm gonna going to uh, select that about, and then the version information right there. And I'll select that. And it looks like they're at 55.00.753. So it does need to be updated. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that update right now. Uh, you don't need to have uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay to perform this update. 
Um, like I said before, uh, this uh, update, if you're having issues with Bluetooth um, pairing, uh, stuff like that, uh, some people get new phones and um, the phone, the new phone doesn't want to pair with it and you may be out of date on your uh, software version um, and you may want to go to your Mazda dealer and have that uh, Connect software updated to the latest and greatest and that way you'll uh, have a better chance of your new phone pairing uh, with the vehicle. Um, also, uh, this uh, screen, like I said, this is the sixth generation uh, and it has issues with uh, Bluetooth, or Bluetooth, it has issues with Ghost Touch. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I made a video on Ghost Touch and I will um, uh, put a link up here in the corner so you can go check out that video. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do the update. I have my flash drives right here and I'm going to pick a flash drive that has the latest update. Customer has a lot of stuff in here, so all this stuff is gonna have to be removed whenever we do the Android Auto Apple CarPlay installation. And I gotta disconnect the customer's cables here and connect this flash drive into either port. Okay, and then if you've seen the Ghost Touch and you've seen me do this before, I gotta touch this button, that button, and that button, and hold them down at the same time. And it's gonna wanna turn the radio on for a second. Okay, and so th there it is. So that's the, um, the test screen. And I'm going to hit 99, 99, enter. Okay, so now it's searching for, uh, it, wants, it wants to know if I wanna search for a system update, and yes, I sure do, so I'm gonna hit search and then it should find that flash drive. And there it is, it's showing the, uh, the current version, 55.00.753, and the reinstallation package, which is the one that I have in there, is a 74.00.324. I'm going to scroll to that, I'm gonna click on it, and it's asking me, do I wanna install? Yes, I sure do. So it's gonna prepare for the update, and this is gonna take a little while, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the vehicle running because uh, if I put it in accessory mode or on mode um, while it's doing this, after a certain amount of time, the ignition will automatically turn off just in case you got out of your vehicle and you forgot to turn the key off or, or something. It'll automatically turn off after a while. But if I leave it running, it won't turn off and it will continue to do the update. So uh, we're just going to let it sit here, run, and uh, perform the update. And in the meantime, I have uh, the installation package, and we need to get done. You know, we got a bunch of wires and stuff, and we need to get those all connected together and everything. And then we can start uh, taking apart this dashboard and get in there. And uh, we're going to replace this hub assembly down here that has the uh, flash drive in it right now. We're going to get a new hub and uh, then just wiring that goes to the back of the Connect Master unit, and uh, that'll be it. So uh, let's get onto that, uh, that wiring harness right now. Okay, so this is the installation kit for Android uh, uh, Auto Cal Apple CarPlay, and this right here is the new hub assembly. So I'll show you that real quick. And it doesn't look like anything special, it is a new hub. It has uh, double connectors in the back. And um, it's got your USB ports right here. It has this one that shows this um, picture of a phone, I guess. And that's the one that you would hook into if you want to use Android Auto Apple CarPlay. This is just a piece of paper showing that, you know, if the customer has a navigation system this is where the SD card goes it, it's just a reminder to, to tell me to take the customers navigation card uh, SD card out and put it into this one uh, just in case if they do uh, so I won't forget that um, and then the rest of this is all just a bunch of wiring and it, we need to take this wire and we need to put it together and basically make a harness 
So you're going to have black and brown on one side and this will go to the hub and then you have the blue and the green on the other side and this will go to the back of the connect master unit and what i'm going to do is this is what uh this is what they want you to do here's the instructions for the customer on how to use an android auto apple carplay and this will go in the uh, uh you know in the customer's uh glove box um what Mazda wants you to do is I'm going to take these these foam pads right here and I'm going to put these this together and we're going to like basically tape them together the whole thing and make it one harness. Um, that's what they want you to do. So I'm going to just start doing that right now. Okay, that is the harness there. That was fun. It's like playing with stickers, you know? So let's check on the vehicle and see what the update is to. Let's see if we're done with the update. It hasn't been that long, so let's check and see. Let's look in here. Okay, so we are only at 44%. So I have to wait for this uh, update to finish before I can get start tearing this thing apart so we're just gonna wait for that to finish it just hit 50 percent right now wait for it to finish and then i'll start tearing this dashboard apart and um usually what they want you to do that hub assembly is buried it's buried in there and uh they want you to take the entire console out this console comes out in a couple different pieces there's a rear console and there's a front console and I think I've done it before and I'm gonna try it this time and see if it works. Uh, I was able to pull that hub out without pulling this console and that's all I need to do is get that hub out of there so we can get the new hub in. And then we're gonna have like a lot more wiring than what we need because we're just gonna go from down here to up in, in this uh, dashboard up here to the Connect Master unit. So uh, a lot of that wiring is just going to be kind of wound up and we'll uh, zip tie it, you know, so it doesn't go anywhere and, and maybe you know, use some of those uh, felt or uh, foam tape things to kind of tape it to the side. That's what Mazda wants you to do. So that's what we'll do. So uh, we'll get back uh, whenever this thing is uh, finished updating. Okay, so our software is done. It's finished updating to the 7400.324. And I'm going to go ahead and cycle the keys. I'm going to turn it off and pull the flash bulb out and restart it. And it would take a second for it to boot up. Just want to make sure it said that it was uh, updated. We want to make sure that it's updated before we go ahead and pull the hub and all that stuff out of there. And then there's a... Uh, Something else that I want to look at really quick. Agree to that and we're going to go over here back again into our settings into our system scroll down about version information and there it is 74.00.324 hit okay um, one thing that i want to look at real quick go home and go over here to the applications so in this menu right here uh, you can see what's on there 
so when, when we're done, Apple CarPlay and, and Android Auto will show up right here, but there's nothing there yet because we haven't installed the hardware. We did install the software, haven't installed the hardware. We're gonna do that right now. This vehicle, it's, a, it's an older, it's a 2016. So this one has a CD player and uh, this is the Connect Master unit here. Right here in the back, this one cable right here with this little tape on it right here, this goes to that hub that's down there. And what we're gonna do is this cable, we're going to disconnect it and we're going to zip tie it back because it's not going to be used anymore and we're going to do that on both sides because we're running this new cable so this is the rest of the installation is the cable that we basically put together right and then the only thing i have left in this is just a bunch of zip ties and uh the uh some of that little foam tape that we'll be using and of course i have the hub assembly so I just need to disconnect the CD player and then disconnect all these cables from the Connect Master unit. Hopefully without dropping the master unit and everything on the ground. This one right here, it's always a little tough to disconnect. I need to stick my screwdriver in there. Okay, and we'll move this out of the way to a safe spot on the floor. And here's that cable that we will be, we'll be pinning it back. And uh, you can see that uh, they, there's a bunch of this foam type tape stuff and that's, that's just what Mazda uses. So we are going to run the cable through here it's gonna come up here and it's gonna we're gonna run it through and we're gonna run it up inside here up there which goes to the other part where we were just at and I need to pull this this out this pops out and the hub assembly uh, she's way up in there so um, I'm gonna pull this console this is I can't remember exactly how I did it before but uh, I'm gonna pull this uh, top part of this console out and pull this thing pops just right up and I'll try and get underneath it um, other than that I believe I would have to pull this entire center console out so I'm gonna try that Okay, this is how I'm gonna attempt. Okay, and I should tell you 
Guys, I'll tell you right now, this is not the way Mazda says to do it. Um, they want you to pull the entire console out, and it makes sense. They don't want you to break anything, um, but I believe I can sneak that out because I've done it before. So let's try. Um, so uh, this is how I'm going to do it, and I'll show you this on this hub right here, this new one. So what it has is it has these clips right here. You see on the top? And it has them on the bottom and you push these clips in and the thing should pop out so what i can do what i think i can do let's see if i can do this with one hand if i can squeeze my big old mitts underneath there and reach the bottom and i can feel them and i gotta hit both of them at the same time and try and grab this Push it back. If I can get pressure on the back of it. Hmm. I can push them in. I can feel them clicking. I just can't do them both at the same time. That is the issue. Okay. Uh, let me work with this. But that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to get the those clips pushed in push the thing down and then on the top from this side or I may pull this panel off of the other side I can use a long screwdriver and I can get in there and push them and the customer does have an SD card right there so I'm gonna leave that in there for right now I gotta remember to move that over to the new hub okay I'm gonna try and get this out Okay, so I guess you can see that, you know, I went ahead and I took the, the console out. Um, wasn't that big of a deal. I don't even know why I tried the other way. Because I really hate fidgeting with stuff, trying to sneak something out. Sometimes it takes you longer and it's more painful to try and do it that way than to just take the whole thing apart. And this was what, uh, six screws, a couple clips, the thing popped right out. Shouldn't have even tried the other way. It's, I guess you know, I need a reminder as to why you're supposed to just do stuff the right way. Um, but uh, even you know, with a with a thing loose inside the vehicle, I still could not get this thing out. Uh, I need like two hands. I need to push, and it it'll, it keeps popping right back in. So you just need to get some some pressure behind it, and finally. There it is. I get the oops. 
we get the new hub. Old hub, new hub. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So, uh, move the, they're upside down. So move the customer's SD card over to the new one. Right, and that one, uh, I don't need that. So stick this back in, just like that. Slide it in here, pop it in, that's it. That's all we needed to do. Um, wait, let's see, where did that go? Who's throwing this stuff around? So I wanted to show you the back. So here's the back and this thing only had one connector in it and that was that one connector that we're gonna wire the thing back we're not going to use this one at all um, the connect uh, master unit only has uh, two connections anyway so we're going to put these two in with the new harness and the one that plugged in here we're going to uh, move it back and uh, zip tie it um, and put some of that foam tape on it so nobody tries to use it in the future that's what Mazda wants us to do um, and uh, get this back in and get that wired up so the first thing I'm going to do before I get that console back in is I'm going to deal with this wire right here. So this green one, uh, we don't need it anymore. So what Mazda wants us to do, I'm going to take a piece of this foam tape, just like that, and I'm going to wrap it around it. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie it back to the cable. So I guess supposedly if anybody sees it, they see the zip tie, the thing on it, then hopefully they get the, the picture that, hey, don't use this one, right? It's the idea anyway. And I'm going to do the same thing with the one up on top take this piece right here Let's sit in here this one right here so I can do this one hand it's got the same green tip on it and we definitely don't want to get this mixed up with the new ones that we're putting in so I'm going to take that and I'm going to zip tie that one back also and I'm going to run the new harness through. Okay, so I'm going to take the new cable. It's the end that has the brown and black end on it. And I'm just going to run it through here up to these. So it's going to be basically with this cable right here. So I'll give myself enough slack and there's plenty of slack in this thing. And I'm gonna zip tie this new cable to this old cable so that um, they won't, won't go anywhere. I'm gonna zip tie right over that one that we zip tied back, just like that. So these cables are there. I'll cut the extra off. And then this other piece, this is the blue and the green. It's gonna get run up in here. So I need to find the spot. So it's gonna actually run up this way and it'll be covered by that plate that runs right there. It's gonna run her up in here. So I can get it to point where I can actually grab it from this other side here. Pull it out, run it through. And <clears throat> you gotta be really careful with, you know, any vehicle, you know, especially Mazda, I don't know what the deal is. These uh, brackets and stuff that this dashboard uh, carrier assembly. That's what you call the carrier assembly. Um, they were built in a razor blade factory 
and so they are razor razor sharp and what i mean by that is if you get them in the wrong way they will cut you to the bone and they do not care i guarantee you that and if you ever taken your vehicle in for any kind of installation or wiring repair or something like that you know uh where the technician had to deal with uh, this um, dashboard carrier assembly or even the uh, seats so I'm gonna stick that up in there. So it should be coming out right there. Yep So but even even the seats And you get your vehicle back and it just happens to have some blood on it. Uh, you know, that's that's just uh, That's uh, your technician, you know, he's he's just giving you some love I guess <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah, these things, they are razor sharp and uh, they're very, uh, you know, unforgiving. <laughs> and uh, through all the years I've been doing this uh, to the bone, they will cut you to the bone. Um, okay, so, so yeah, if you stick your hand up in there, just, just be, be very careful. All of this extra right here, I'm going to roll it up and uh, I'm going to connect it to the inside here where it'll be out of the way. It won't you know get tangled in anything and get messed up or anything like that i'm just going to kind of pull this through right now so i'm going to roll it up and it, it'll sit down here and i'll probably zip tie it to the to the cable shifter cable possibly um this top piece i need to pull this through and masa wants me to zip tie this to this one right here. So this goes on the top of your Connect Master unit. So I'm gonna zip tie this one to here so it'll always be there. And um, and then I can start putting this back together. Okay, so I got this thing zip tied in here, way down in there. Let's get this console on. That ain't popping out. And I need to get this hooked up. Go back with this. So the way I remember this is black and blue on the inside. <laughs> so this is the black one. So it's going to go on the inside of the console rather than the outside one. So that's the way I remember it. So black and blue. Blue would be the one on the on the top. So I, mean, I can see this. I get it plugged in here. Which way does it go? I don't know. Get my hand in there. Okay. So the black one that pushed in then the brown one is going to go on the outside so black and blue on the inside means brown and green on the outside and, and we got this plug this thing in there. and let me show this thing back into place all right back together and I'm just uh, put all this all this back together okay so I got the center console all put back in didn't take very long see the new hub in there the customers SD card is in place right there and I started Putting the uh, Connect Master unit back in, uh, it's easier to do with one hand when I got something plugged in. So these are the new right here. And like I said before, black and blue. Black and blue are on the inside. So there's two connectors right here in the back of the Connect Master unit. So I'm gonna take the blue that's on the inside and hook that one. So inside, outside. And then of course the green will be on the outside and this one goes to the top of the connect master unit and then this one 
you don't see too often or anymore. This is for the CD player. Like, what the heck is a CD player? What is a CD? All right, and that just pops right in there. We got a screw, or a bolt actually sits way back there, and then we got screws on either side here. So, let me get those in. And then it's just these, this trim club box back on, and then it's done. So let me get those on right now. Okay, so I got everything put back in. Hubs in there, SD cards in. All the customer's junk is in this box right here. And uh, so I do not put customer's stuff back. Uh, I did not remove the junk in the center console. I didn't have to to get it out because this thing had screws on the sides, but I do not mess with customers' vehicles or their, their own junk. I just move it out of the way. So uh, here's uh, another tip for you. If you're taking your vehicle to uh, a shop, you know, repair shop, facility, dealership, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you know they're going to be working in a certain area of the vehicle, like the center console or the back seat or something like that, uh, make sure you remove your stuff. That way the technician doesn't have to mess with your stuff, you know, and uh, they'll be happy that they didn't have to mess with your stuff and you'll be happy they didn't mess with your stuff, you know, uh, especially like if they're removing a fuel pump or something like that, you got uh, child car seats and stuff in the back, um, then uh, you probably want to remove those uh, so the technician doesn't have to deal with it. Um, I know um, we will not install a child seat um, back in its proper position after having to remove it because it's a liability. We'll let the customer do that um, on their own. Anyway, what I want to show you is uh, I have the thing booted up right here and I'm going to go over here to applications and now you can see it's Apple CarPlay Android Auto because I installed uh, the hardware and uh, we did the update. And the uh it's it's grayed out right now because uh you have to actually hook your cable in and uh start using it uh this vehicle does have a uh, navigation as you can see with the sd card um if you have a vehicle that has android on apple carplay how did you get it did you have to have it installed or did it come with your vehicle run around down in the comments let me know i have uh one vehicle with android auto apple carplay and the only thing I use it for is navigation. And that's the cool thing about it is that it uses the navigation that you have on your phone. Um, in my case, I have an Android, so uh, it uses Google Maps. And Google Maps will always be updated to the latest and greatest. Uh, on my truck, I have uh, on-card on navigation and I updated that SD card one time uh, some years ago. I had some, some new roads and stuff around my house and my neighborhood and everything that uh, weren't on the map. And I, so I wanted to be able to see it. So I bought that SD card. I think it was like around $240. That's uh, expensive, you know, for just for a map, you know, and a little SD card. And um, yeah, the good thing about uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay is that your map will always be updated. Uh, as long as uh, your phone is updated and, and the map on your phone is updated, that will be all be updated too. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy installation and um, everything is good to go. So um, you got any uh, questions or anything about Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, how it's installed in Mazas and uh, what you need to get it installed? want to do it yourself um, just uh, run around down in the comments uh, ask me um, I try and get back with every single comment and I love to see comments um, so for uh, shop from our garage and world car auto group uh, thanks for watching uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one